started looking at wedding dresses and sizes, and holy moly, are they small. See this bubble bubble thing here? <laughs> it's pretty much like everywhere that I want to work on. Every woman wants to look stunning on her wedding day. Now, help is on the way for Bulging Brides. You won't need to work out after this. Well, at least I won't. <laughs> <laughs> Meet Kelly. She's bulging out of her dream dress and only has six weeks to slim down. Can you breathe, Kelly? Not really. Don't pass out. Yeah, I'm gonna try not to. My dress is not fitting here, behind here. It's hanging out everywhere. Kelly's having a lot of trouble fitting in that dress. She needs our help. Time for some action. I need lots of help because this is Kelly! kind of... Oh! <laughs> Tommy, you're a personal trainer. Hello. The Boma Nutrition Specialist. Hello. We're here to call for help. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, do you need some help. <laughs> I need details on everything you eat. Diarize it in here, OK? And Kelly, hold on to this. Protect it with your life. I have no choice. My wedding is in six weeks, and I look like crap. <laughs> Looks like somebody's abs need a lot of work. Yeah. Push-ups, give me good push-ups. Kelly's a busy mom who needs some major changes in her eating and exercising habits Ew. to keep her from being a bulging bride. Cheers. You're gonna pay for that one. Cheers to Tommy. gonna do the cake. Mm -hmm. Stress is very high right now in my life. Dealing with the wedding, dealing with um, working. I eat when I'm stressed. Generally I do all the cooking. It's not necessarily the best healthy food, but it, um, I do what I can to help out. When he doesn't cook, we usually go out. We eat out because there's no time usually. I'm either dealing with the kids at home, teething baby, um, <laughs> cranky seven-year-old. I'm a salt fanatic, a carb fanatic, and when I'm working from the computer, I will snack quite a bit. I do play soul pitch in a uh, beer league. And there's lots of beer to be drank there because it's pretty much what they do. Okay, what's it look like at the back? You're yeah. gonna be working your butt off. Yep. My dress is awesome. I wanna look awesome in it. I'm Tommy Ura, personal trainer. This is my partner, nutrition coach, Nadine Bowman. We're on a mission to help brides look great on the big day. Kelly, this is your aisle of shame. We're gonna take a look at some of the nasty habits you've revealed in your food diary. First platter, raunchy ranch. <laughs> this is one year of your ranch intake. Kind of disgusting, but... Yeah. <laughs> 50,000 calories. It's 14 pounds of fat a year that you're putting on your body in ranch. Hello, next platter. Let's go. Platter number two is called the Monumental Month. This is one month of your afternoon snacking. There's bananas. Bananas are the only healthy thing on this platter. Everything else, zero nutritional value. Pretty bad. It's pretty bad, and it's 14,000 calories in one month which equals four pounds of fat on your body. Where's your dress not fitting again? Around here, yeah, and up there. <laughs> yeah, so let's cut this out and move to the next platter. This next platter I've named based on its color and I call it the beige platter. This is your bread intake for one month. It's 22,700 calories and that's six and a half pounds of fat on your body in one month. All right, well, let's go see what Tommy has to say about your body shape. I am embarrassed, shocked. I didn't expect it was that much. Kelly, welcome to your shape analysis. Stand right here. Bust, 38 inches. Waist, 36. Hips, 38. Up on the scale. Weight, 147 pounds. Ouch. Let's take a look at all your numbers. You're five foot six, wear a dress size of 10 to 12. Weight, 147 pounds. Body type, rectangle. Nasty. Ugh. 
Do you want that to change? Yeah. Bad. <laughs> well, this is a starting point. Let's see how you look now in the dress. Okay. Kelly, meet Jean, our stylist. She's gonna help you into your dress. Hello. Kelly. Hello. <laughs> this way. You might wanna hold on to the wall and oh. brace yourself a bit. You okay? Yep. Yep. Hey, you're in there. I see the alarming look. Jean, tell us what's going on. Well, as you can see here, this is a dropped waistline. And with dropped waistlines, you need to be flat as a pancake. And right now, it's not really happening so much. It's bulging a little bit at the bottom. So because it's so tight here, it's almost like she's getting squeezed out of the top. You can see there's quite a bit of spillage here. And we have some beautiful beadwork. Her skin is rubbing against this beadwork. <laughs> also in the back here, spilling out the back is on the sides, definitely and quite a bit of back cleavage. It is a beautiful dress though. I love this style on you, but it just has to fit properly. Because you don't have much shape through your waist and you carry a lot of your weight through your stomach, we definitely have to flatten that out. Tone up through the arms and shoulders and turning you around. You've got some back ass and you've got some angel hawks. So we can't have that. No. Do you promise to follow your meal plan for the next six weeks? I do. And you vow to stick to your fitness plan for the next six weeks. I do. In six weeks, we're going to tone up Kelly's arms and melt inches from her middle. No options whatsoever, so I have to go with it and get it done. Kelly, welcome to Tommy's Playground. It's going to be a physical assessment showing me your strengths and your weaknesses. This is called getting to first base. Go! Come on, Kelly. Keep your feet on the ground. Let's go, let's go, let's go. If I had first base was like that, I'd be in a lot better shape than what I am. <laughs> Looks like somebody's abs need a lot of work. Yep. This is called ensuring empathy. Ugh. Kelly's very deconditioned. She's what I would call skinny fat. Very soft through the middle. Commitment is key, Kel. It's got to be continuous. I don't want to look like a overhanging, gross bride, so it's time to tone and show my kids that I can do it too. The thing that Kelly does have in her favor, she's got a great will, she doesn't quit. And that's gonna be very important for her over the next six weeks. You've just completed Tommy's playground. Oh You've gotta get your cardio up, gotta get your strength up. I'm very worried about the next six weeks because I feel like I'm dying already, so I'm hoping it gets a lot easier than what it is, but I'll push through it. Where's my drink? Cheers. Next, things get a little out of hand at Kelly and Rob's Jack and Jill. Yeah. Don't pass out. Yeah. <laughs> Bulging bride and softball fanatic Kelly hasn't even made it to first base in her efforts to fit into her wedding dress. Looks like somebody's abs need a lot of work. Yep. Hi, Kelly. Hello. <laughs> the fact that you, Rob, and the kids love sweet and salty foods and burgers and inactivity, this is what can happen to you. <laughs> There's another option. Take a look at this. How about that? Way better. It's gonna take a lot of work. I'm up for it. All right, you came to the right place. Come with me. Okay. Okay, Kelly. We're gonna start with Turkish get-ups. Go, keep your arm up. These exercises will be great for Kelly. She's a new mom. She's not breastfeeding anymore. We're gonna get her in the game. We're basically gonna have her doing a lot of rotational type exercises, lots of core exercises. Cardio is gonna be a must. We gotta give you some curves, right? Got to get that dress fitting the way it should. I didn't realize how out of shape I was. It's just horrible. My plan for Kelly right now is to have her going at least five days a week, twice with me, three times on her own. Now, this is going to work your core. This is going to work your back, especially if you pull. The intensity of the workout is very hard. I'm hoping I can keep up with Tommy. This is the first time you're doing this, so this will get better. These are works in progress, right? Welcome to one day in the life of your new food plan. What do you think? Looks pretty healthy. Well, it is healthy, and it's actually less calories. It's um, we're taking you down from 1,900 to 1,400 a day. Starting with breakfast, we're gonna go with one slice of whole wheat toast, one tablespoon of peanut butter, and one tablespoon of the light jam. You've got your soy milk for protein as well. You'll notice that at lunch we have one cup of mixed fruit. We have two cups of salad, four ounces of chicken, and two tablespoons of vinaigrette. 
No more ranch. <laughs> no more ranch. So for dinner, you're gonna have two cups of salad, again with a vinaigrette dressing, a half roasted red pepper, and that's the very extra lean ground beef, three ounces. Okay, two more things. Eight glasses of water a day. Now this is gonna be very important, especially with your workouts. You're gonna need to stay hydrated. And no beer at all whatsoever for the next six weeks. There's gonna be ranch and there's gonna be beer at the Jack and Jill and it's gonna be the most difficult time to resist trying to go for those things. Where's my drink? Jack and Jill party oh, with my friends. They're gonna be shoving booze in front of us and alcohol in our face, so I don't know. It's gonna be water with limes and... <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be funny to kind of try and hold back, so. Um, so is beer on your meal plan? Because it's on my meal plan. You're going to pay for that one. Pay your Tommy. How's it going, gang? All right. Good. Kelly, had some fun at your Jack and Jill? Well, we got to work it off. We win as a team, we lose as a team. Let's get started. Go! Push-ups, give me good push-ups. She's not big by any stretch of the imagination. She needs a lot of toning, and just the way that that dress fits on her right now, she needs to get her stomach a lot flatter than it is. Kelly, I'm so mad at you. <laughs> that was the warm-up. We're going on the diamond. Go! She's only got a few weeks left, and she's gonna need the support of her fiance and her friends. I mean, they're the ones she hangs out with. She plays baseball with them. They're gonna be the biggest influences on her when I'm not around. <coughs> Baby, no more beers. Oh. All right, on home plate. Go! Rob! Go ahead, Rob. I'm out of breath, and I'm very sore, and I'm very nauseous, and yeah, I got my ass kicked. <laughs> How you guys like that beer now? Don't like it at all. <laughs> <laughs> Let this be a lesson to you all. No more cheating. It doesn't have much time left. You can avoid the beer for a few more weeks. Right? Yep. I'll see you later. See you. Rob, I don't have time for this. Next, at all. Kelly discovers that moving right before her wedding day wasn't such a great idea. We're going to have to do it after. I have to go work out right now. Bride to be Kelly went way off base at her Jack and Jill, but I gave her a payback that hit home. Now, we see how she's doing halfway through. My stress level is crazy, so I'm gonna pull my hair out soon. Kelly. Hello. Three week weigh in time. Stand right here. Bust, 36 inches. You're down two inches. No comment. No comment. Waist, 35. Down from 36, you've lost one inch. Not enough. <laughs> Hips, 37. 37, that's down one inch. Could be more. <laughs> Could be. Yeah. Let's get you on the scale. Weight, 142 pounds. Down from 147, you've lost five pounds. Not enough. Not enough? Not enough. Let's get you off the scale. Three weeks left, we definitely have to pick up the pace. We need that stomach flat. Mm -hmm. You've already slipped up at your Jack and Jill, and that should be the last time. Yes, it should. It yeah. will be. So we're going to send you off to Jean. She's with a professional makeup artist. You're going to go through your trial run for your makeup for your wedding. Cool. All right? All right. Have fun. Thank you. Hello, ladies. This is Christine. Nice Hello. to meet you, Kelly. Kelly. Kelly does not quite know what she wants to do for her makeup for her wedding. I don't wear makeup usually, so I really don't know how to do makeup properly to even start with. She's got great skin, just a little bit of redness in it that we want to balance out. So the tinted moisturizer is just gonna make her skin all one tone and tone down the red a little bit. Christine went with a, a smoky eye for Kelly, and I think it worked out beautifully because Kelly's got great eyes. She wanted to play on her eyes and downplay her lips, and I think that was a really great choice. It made her eyes pop out and made them extra blue. It's gorgeous. So what is a smoky eye? It's basically if you have a color that's blended out and um, not just a solid eyeliner or pen, uh, liquid eyeliner. It's more of a blended and with color or without. You don't want to have really dramatic eyes and dramatic lips. 
plate up on her eyes and down plate on her lips. She used natural lip liner, uh, like a pinkish brown lipstick and a bit of gloss. Wonderful. So we're gonna give you your powder to take away the shine throughout the day. Your waterproof mascara, key for all the crying you're gonna be doing. <laughs> and all your lip stuff so you can touch up throughout the night for pictures. So here's your little goodie bag. Thank you. You're welcome. I wanted glitter and like shimmer kind of stuff, so all this is pretty much exactly what I wanted, so I'm excited about it. I'll hold this still so it doesn't come out. Ow! They're not going in. With moving, everything is still in boxes. My fiance wants me to help him put things together, which I don't mind, but I have so much to do. It's backwards. The board is backwards. Are you kidding me? No. I'm sorry. I'm getting very worried because I don't have certain things like my DJ or bridal florists and all that. And it's not very long to my wedding and nothing's done, so it's very frustrating. Rob, I don't have time for this. No. At all. No, well, it's backwards. There's no, nothing I, we can do. We have to do We're living out of boxes. I have to clean. I have to unpack. I have to get ready for the wedding. Well, I can't deal with it anymore, so we're going to have to do it after. I have to go work out right now. My advice to you is don't move and get married in the same month, pretty much, because you're gonna explode. <laughs> Come on, let's go! Next, Rob gets back in the game, and the final numbers are in. Wait. Boy, do you need some help. <laughs> Kelly's been hoping for a home run as she tries to blast her belly to fit into her dream wedding dress. I'm weak, I'm sore, tired of being a bitch to everyone. Kelly, Rob, welcome to your partner challenge. Today we're gonna start off with a 3K run, then I'm gonna get you guys some bikes, then we've got a 10K climb. You up for it? Mm, yeah, we're here. All right, let's go. You guys getting warm yet? Yeah, getting there, yeah. Now there's hills. The run was to give the two of them a pretty good warm up because I knew the ride was gonna be pretty grueling. I'm not used to this, baby. This is too much. I don't like running if I don't have to, but I felt pretty good on the run. There's bikes for here. All right, hope you guys are warm. There are your bikes. Come on, let's go! The bike ride I thought was going to be pretty easy at the beginning. When we started, it was completely smooth. You better get some speed! Here comes our climb! But then the hills started to come, and I knew right then I was in trouble. I was like, oh, no. I think we got two victims of the hill. Come on, Kelly! We had some hills we had to conquer, and Rob is right there by her side, and that's where that's where he's gonna have to be. We're almost there, come on! Get off your bikes. Yeah, I'm just walking it down this way. Come on. Nice work. Good job, baby. <laughs> nice. A few weeks ago, I don't think Kelly would have finished this ride. Or the run. I am impressed. I think you've come a long way. You kept up ahead of me there running a bit too. Good job, baby. <laughs> So I think we worked hard enough today. We can enjoy a little bit of the view. Sounds like a plan. All right. Hi, Kelly. Hello. Final weigh-in time. Stand right here. Bust. 36 inches. Down two inches. That's cool. Waist. 33. All right, you've lost oh. three inches. <laughs> Oh, good. <laughs> That's the one you're worried about? Yeah, that was the one I was worried about. Hips, 36. Down two inches off your hips. Cool. Nice work, Kelly. Let's get you up on the scale. Weight, 100. 36 pounds. Nice. You've <laughs> lost 11 pounds. Good. Very impressive. 11 pounds, seven inches. How does it feel? Good, I'm glad I'm in the 130s now. <laughs> well, let's get you in the dress. Definitely. Okay, I'm just lacing the last loop here, Kelly. I'm gonna start to tighten. Okie dokie. I'm not breaking a sweat this time. <laughs> That's great, yeah. I invited Kelly's mom, dad, and godmother to be the first to see her in the dress. Oh my God. <laughs> You're so great, sweetie. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, Dad. Hi, Beautiful. Hello. 
Well, remember when Kelly first tried the dress on, we had lots of fit problems, and now the dress fits perfectly. We have an actual waistline. It comes in at the waist, which is great. Before, Kelly was more of a rectangular shape. Now, she's almost an hourglass figure. <laughs> Tummy flat as a pancake. The top fits great. There's no spillage, and you have room to breathe. The back here looks great because First of all, there's no wings, no spillage. The panel does up properly now. Laces up into a beautiful, slim V. It's gorgeous. Congratulations. Thank you. So come here. Thank you. I'm very excited that it fits, and I feel awesome. Um, I can't wait to wear it. She's got a flat tummy. She's got a waistline. Top looks great. Whole package looks great. Kelly, have a great wedding. Congratulations. Rob, you're a lucky guy. Kelly hit a home run with a loss of 11 pounds and 7 inches. She looks beautiful in her dress and will no doubt get way past first base on her wedding night. With the last six weeks that I've been doing this, I have felt so much better. I eat so much better. Everyone else in my house eats better. I will definitely be carrying this on in the future. It's taught me a new way of a healthy lifestyle and now I'm going to be exercising all the time. Just how I feel is completely awesome.